Sometimes life gets busy and we all need a little escape. Join us as we take a break from the everyday hustle and check into a hotel for a night. It's not just a getaway, it's a chance to reconnect, save each moment, uninterrupted time together and rediscover the magic of being together. Welcome to Wonderlust. We've just settled in and uh, had a little nosy around the room which is great obviously. and uh, <laughs> obviously the <laughs> and we've just taken the chances to chill now which is great and um, yeah we haven't been on a, a trip where we've had time away from the kids since our anniversary which was in December so it's been nearly a year already oh my goodness October, end of October yeah. it's been 10 months um, and we didn't realize it until Aspen started to feel a bit anxious before we left and we hadn't experienced that for a while have we no yeah every 10 seconds with mommy I need to find this I need to find it mommy I need to do this I so need you to do this you, you specifically need to, yeah. to do it but they're gonna have a great time um, Jonty's parents and grandparent time as well so we get to enjoy the room which is nice we are really high up on the 36th level we've got an amazing view mm. whenever you go up to a high level you realize how small Singapore is because I'm like oh there's Chinatown, there's stadium you can pretty much see where we've just <laughs> came from but yeah it's really nice to see things from up here it's cool being up at the top and the room is really nice it is pretty modern I'm not sure when it was done out but it's really nice and everything seems comfy and cozy which is perfect for just relaxing for a few days a few days one day it'll feel like a few days I think okay <laughs> I've already switched up. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we're just going to take it easy and enjoy uh, our stay and show you what it's like to stay here at the Hilton on Orchard Road in Singapore. Oh. <laughs> it's super comfy. We've got a lovely cake on it and some flowers. Delicious. Delicious. John and I have had the same sides of the bed forever. Like, do you have the side of the bed as a couple or could you swap? I think if I was going to sleep on that side, I would feel really weird. So this is, this is my side. I can sleep anywhere. So. You don't have a side, you have the middle. I do, yeah. This is technically, this is my, oh no, I broke our cake. When we arrived, there was someone outside uh, delivering cakes for people for their birthday and actually it was my birthday just yesterday and Millie's was at the end of last week and so um, we are celebrating our birthdays. The Hilton have been amazing and have put up birthday banners for us, given us a little um, a towel tower of cake and um, these really, really beautiful uh, little chocolate mousses that we're about to enjoy with this lovely view and the peace and quiet. Um, what I have noticed since we've arrived is how there's just no persistent child voices uh, calling us, um, which is actually really nice. I'm um, sorry kids, I know you'll probably be watching this, but um, yeah, it's just been lovely, it's been cool. So we're gonna enjoy these and, uh, and chill for a bit. Um, and we'll probably head to the pool in a little while. Cheers. This mousse that they've given us for our birthday celebrations is absolutely delicious. Um, it's just layered at the bottom, there's cake, there's chocolate mousse with a cream on top, chocolate flakes, but what we've noticed is that it's actually like a black forest ghetto where inside are um, dark cherries which are absolutely delicious and fruity and fresh and light and it's exactly what we needed as a little welcome snack as we arrive with a coffee and just a chance to take in the view and to relax, beautiful. Nice just sitting down here for a little while actually. I um I fell asleep for probably about 40 minutes after reading a chapter. Um it was great. <laughs> just nice just to relax and switch off. We had a bit of a late night last night from my birthday, I had some friends over. Uh, it was like an impromptu, let's have some desserts kind of thing, so that was nice. Um Millie's just finished up a chapter or two as well, so I think she's gonna be taking a dip. So it's nice. The pool here is nice, it's um, a little bit smaller than I initially anticipated but now that it's cleared out there are a few people in here earlier, they've all left and it's just Millie and me now and so it feels like just the perfect size for us uh, which is great and uh, we're very very relaxed which is 
even better. Um, so yeah, enjoying ourselves. I'm gonna do a few little lengths and just enjoy the atmosphere out here. It's just gone past six o'clock now and so we're thinking about what we're going to have for dinner. We're starting to feel a little bit peckish and so Millie wants to try and finish her book before we head off and then we're going to go and have a look and see what's on the menu. We ended up staying out here uh, until it's gone dark. Millie's been reading, we've been just having a little snuggle up and yeah, it's cool. It's nice. I think that's one of the things I like about just coming away with just us. We can just have uninterrupted time to just be chill and there's no one else around and yeah the lights are on it's really nice you can hear birds as well could have just had a dog and done this all the time <laughs> last 11 years <laughs> i did wonder like if we didn't have the youtube channel and stuff would we do more of this but then we wouldn't enjoy as much of the world maybe not anyway maybe not. we're gonna go and go up to the room and then figure out our dinner situation because i'm getting hungry yeah me too We just got back from the swim and Millie's just getting ready in the bathroom but just noticed that when we got back, now that it's night time and it's dark, the room's taken on a whole different personality and it felt bright and airy earlier but now it feels really, really moody and cosy and it's got just the most gorgeous view of everything and now that the lights are out, out the window and so yeah, we're going to get ready um, for dinner and then go and find something to eat. We're here at Monza. We had actually been given a table inside and it was quite cold and really, really loud and we just asked whether there was anything outside and there is this beautiful space here which is great and there's planting and it's much quieter. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Not like outside, outside. No, it's just covered. Covered and there's fans. It's a really nice atmosphere out here. Uh, Definitely yeah. not so cold as inside. It's so cold. No. Yeah, it smells really good when you come in and uh, yeah, just looking forward to having a nice chilled out evening with you. And we've ordered as well, which is great, so we're very much looking forward to eat. Um, it is now 8.20. Um, there is another option here to eat at, which is an international buffet that we were pretty keen on trying out, but um, it's so popular that it's fully booked and they were only able to let us know at half past eight whether there was going to be space for us to, to, be, able, to be able to have our dinner. And uh, we didn't want to wait that long and then be told that we were not able to have dinner there. No, plus we're having breakfast in there, so we'll get to check out some of the food over there in the morning. Even though we haven't eaten dinner yet, and I'm thinking about breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I started by ordering our mains, which was great, and then I just thought actually we can really do it in a nice starter, and um, I liked the fish starter, I thought it would be great, so here we are with the pan seared scallops, and I'm looking forward to trying it, and yeah, getting stuck in, so here we go. What I can tell you straight away from just cutting into it is that it's been cooked absolutely perfectly, it's not chewy, the, the knife just glided through it, which is beautiful. Here it is. Mm -hmm. It's something sour around the outside, like a, a caper or something. Yeah, which is delicious. And then it's on like a, a soft bed of what tastes a bit like horseradish, but a very light flavour, not that overpowering flavour. It's just delicious. So yeah, gonna gonna enjoy this for sure. That's good. We've got beef ragu, which smells amazing. Pizza with prosciutto and some green stuff and what I'm really excited about uh, burrata I love that cheese I am very excited to eat this so yep I'm gonna get stuck in mm. 
that is really good. The beef is super soft, it's like red wine flavor, on the sauce, mm. yum, yum, yum. I normally wouldn't order pasta when I'm out, because I just do it at home, but this fresh pasta is totally different. It tastes good. The service has been really, really nice tonight. The guys are really, really attentive, super friendly, yeah. and they're confident to come and like let us know what they're going to do. They're going to come and take our plates in a little while or um, whatever. I think this is really, really nice. I don't have felt awkward at any point. They've just been perfect. They've looked after us really well, so I really appreciate it. Yeah, really nice. Attentive, but not like in your face. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And the food is fantastic. We're going to get stuck into the pizza next. Mm. Really nice. The prosciutto is perfect. A little bit salty. It's even a little bit sweet. It's really good. And none of the food is too heavy, which is great. So, yeah. Very, very happy with what we chose tonight. Everything's been great. So I'm not one to have pizza very often uh, at all, actually. I'm pretty sure that since our honeymoon, which is about 13 years ago, uh, I think I've probably only had less than 10 pizzas. Do you think that's true? <laughs> probably. Yeah. And the reason why is because on our honeymoon, we were in Rome, Millie ordered this pizza, and I just thought, no, I don't want pizza, I'll have something else. I'm not joking, it was like the best thing that I've ever seen in my life. Uh, food-wise and uh, since then I've just been afraid of ever ordering a pizza because I don't think it's ever gonna be as good as the one that I didn't quite get to have in Rome and so uh, yeah like I said uh, less than ten I think this pizza might bring us into the five or six region in that many years um, but uh, anyway I'm really really excited that I've got this crusty edge and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to trying it all out here we go that was really nice has a nice bite to it. I like that it's kind of charred around the outside. It's crunchy, but it's soft on the inside. A bit like an armadillo, and it's just it was just delicious. So that was just the bread. I'm a massive fan of prosciutto, and there's rocket on here as well, which I like the flavour of rocket with stuff. I don't like rocket on its own because I just find it a bit too overpowering. But with stuff like this is excellent. So here's a bit of the whole lot together: rocket, pizza tomato cheese and the prosciutto. The cheese is light, the prosciutto is salty. You've got your sour coming through um, from the tomato and the bitter coming through on the rocket. All on that bed of that delicious bread. I'm happy. This is a good pizza for number six in 13 years. I think pizza tastes better when you eat it with your hands but I don't feel like I should pick it up and eat it with my hands and hair. I'm trying to see whether John is going to judge me if I do it or not. No, do it. But I think it tastes better if you eat it with your hands. Just some food does, like chicken wings. You've got to like get stuff in, so. John T's review is way more like, in-depth than mine. I was just like, yeah, it tastes good. That tastes better than my first taste, I think, because of the, the hands getting it all. <laughs> That was worth keeping some of the other for. Yeah. We saw a sign for the fitness centre, so we're just going to go and be nosy. All access cards, right, isn't it? Yoga room. Bye bye. Into the gym. What? Okay, apples work. Apple a day. This is huge. It's massive. Look at this place. Wow. Fancy. It's a spin bike. Go on in. Oh. This is this is an advanced spin apparently. Okay. Oh, I've just eaten a lot of food. Just releasing any tension I may be feeling. We're doing just the odd easy workout, you know. There's one. They look like those comedy inflatable ones. <laughs> You're talking about muscles. <laughs> the weights. What are you doing? Just pick them up. You gotta pick them up first. I feel like I'm one of those, um, what are they, late night TV shows where they're like, all of this could be yours for $1,000. <laughs> and then they just chat, drink about the 
the grip and the shininess. It looks like nobody ever comes in here. It's really weird. It's true. One of the things that I find really cool in here is that like in Singapore, you can get a pass to use a hotel during the day and you get to use the gym and all that sort of stuff. So I wonder if people would do that here. We're downtown Orchard Road. I mean, if I lived here and I could, this is such a great gym. It's pretty cool. And it all looks brand new, like no one's ever used it before. Um, maybe because most people just come here for a night stay and want to eat rather than work out. Um, but yeah, it's pretty impressive. I'm wondering where all of the, um, all the weights are that go with the barbell. Um, not here. I uh, <laughs> don't know where they all are, but that's all good. We've got a pull up bar over the top as well, which is pretty good. So we could try that out, shall I? Seventy. <laughs> Eighty. It's not bad. Outdoor run. What do we got? Hey, room. Since we had pizza tonight and we went on our honeymoon. Hang on a minute. You're meant to be on here. <laughs> what are you doing? You only go the same speed through Rome, regardless of how far you go. I going. thought it would speed up. I think it's because you're standing over here, sweetheart. <laughs> you're meant to be. You're meant to be on here. Come on, go walk through Rome. Yeah. No, on here. <laughs> Come on, on your hop. Walk through Rome. <laughs> cool. This is a this is Millie on to full tourist mode. Look at her handbag. Hey guys. <laughs> Just getting ready for my next holiday. <laughs> ready to go back to the room now. Yeah, ready to go back to the room and lay on the bed and put a face mask on and Enough watch a movie. Enough around. Okay. Let's go. We're obviously uh, exhausted from the gym just now. Yes. But, um, it's been quite a, very, quite a busy day. Quite active, yeah. Very we cool. did a lot there. <laughs> so we're going to... Um, I think Millie's picked up some face masks, have you? Yes, got some face masks. Not at the moment, obviously. We're going to put on some face masks and then and we're going to... Look ten years younger in the morning. When look you see super us. young in about 20 seconds' time. Uh, and we're going to watch a movie of some sort. There's a movie that's starting in 34 seconds. Mmm. Uh, let's see what it's like. Don't know what it's like. Millie said it's got Justin Timberlake in it. Don't know if that means it's good or bad. But... And uh, and then we're going to turn in and we'll see you in the morning when I show you breakfast. And um, we're going to hopefully have a bit more of an appetite for then. So good night for now. Bye. Good night. It's gone past 9.30 a.m. Um, Millie's just getting herself ready. Um, goodness me. We just slept and slept and slept. And um, no interruptions from the kids, so <laughs> so we just slept more. So we're we're tired. Millie's just opened the window, and you know what it's like with like blackout curtains. Uh, sorry, she just opened the curtains. You know what it's like with blackout curtains, and um, the whole room is just pitch black. Um, it's super super bright. Um, she's getting ready. We got to hurry up and head down for breakfast before we miss it. I think they stopped serving at ten. Um, or maybe 10.30, but let's not risk it. Um, so we've got like 25 minutes to get down and start having some food. <laughs> it's misty out there. Misty on the water. There's just so much variety. I don't, I'm like a bit excited. I don't really know what I have. So I've seen some walk past some smoked salmon. I've seen some cheeses. Definitely going to go for some like charcuterie meats. I'm a sucker for pastries as well, and there's a whole heap of them here. So um, yeah, going to overeat well this morning. All right, I found what I'm starting with. So just take the whole tray. For me, the trick is trying to get as much as possible while not looking greedy. So I don't know if I've been successful, um, but I'm going to eat it all anyway, so it just saves me going up and coming back each time. So yeah, so the technique here that I've done is that I've put it in a bowl so it's deeper, so you can put a stack more. Uh, and if you stack, it doesn't look so much like you've just got chunks of meat and cheese, so it's not good.
That was awesome. Uh, first round done. The highlights for me, the beef salami was really, really tasty. Um, and the camembert cheese. So like, when you breathe in camembert just before you bite it down, you can taste the flavors already. I love that. I find the smoked salmon here very different um, back to the UK. The UK, you can taste the smokiness come through. Mm. Whereas here, there's definitely not that in the salmon. It tastes fresher. Um, but definitely not as smoked and so I definitely missed that flavour but it was still good and it was tasty so I'm going to go and check out what I'm going to have next. We've been told we've got just a, a few minutes before they close the kitchen so we have to uh, take what we think we're going to eat now, which is great. Uh, I'm very prepared to go for this. There's so many things there that we haven't got here that I can't show you um, because I, I don't want to be greedy, obviously. <laughs> but um, I'll tell you why I've got certain things here that I wanted to show you. Um, firstly, I went for the, um, the kind of English breakfast, as I would call it. Um, there's pork sausages, which for me is a bit of a novelty. In a lot of hotels we've been to in Asia, they tend to do chicken sausages, but here there's an option of chicken or pork, which is great. And for me, I, I really, really love um, mushrooms. They've got a nice mixed uh, wild mushroom vibe going on, which is really beautiful, so I've gone for that. Um, pastries, like I said earlier, I'm like an absolute sucker for pastries, and uh, I love Europe and uh, spending time there, so uh, that's kind of I felt like I had to do that while I was here and they have a juice bar here and so I got a very interesting mix of different things I can't remember there's like carrot and ginger and turmeric and celery and all sorts of stuff in here which is very nice very fresh and before I finish I will say and that the coffee is amazing they've got it in urns and they come around pouring it out for you but um, you can't tell that it's like sometimes it, you get that flavor of the jug None of that, and the flavour of this is really, really good, really fresh, and um, quite clearly like a pour over or a filter coffee with some fresh beans, and um, I'm really happy about that. So I'm going to show you what Millie's got. She's really going for it today. She's <laughs> quite greedy. No, I already had some eggs and some salmon. And it was on like a little muffin, but this is egg custard, charcoal egg custard bun. I really like these. I just fancy something sweet. Normally just some oats and like fruit for the morning, but yeah, this looked tasty. I'm gonna give this one a go, and I hope it's still soft inside. It was still on the steamer, so let's see. Ooh, it's not quite gooey. It's not like really oozy, like I like, but uh, it smells good. Mm. The flavor's there, it's just not runny. I like it when it drips everywhere and you have to like mop it up. The hotel lobby invites you in with its relaxed cafe and bar featuring an array of stunning cakes and ginger lily. With a warm atmosphere, soft seating and stylish decor, it's the perfect spot to unwind and linger for hours over a drink, a treat or good company. This whole thing is edible. <laughs> it's amazing. There's like glitter, little sticks all over and the whole thing is edible. sad it's time to leave now we milked it like every second <laughs> uh, yeah it's actually we're four minutes over so hopefully they won't charge us for a late checkout otherwise we're gonna go back up to the room and take advantage of the extra three hours of late checkout <laughs> <laughs> we've actually despite that ginormous breakfast I had we're actually on our way for lunch uh, with my parents and with uh, the kids and with my grandma yes so um, yeah we're about to take the lift down, uh, the 36 floors down, and uh, it's like taking a flight, we get to the bottom of our ears and all gone funny, because we're so high up. So yeah, thank you for joining us, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have, it's been a beautiful, beautiful stay, yeah. we hope to come back, we actually get this um, trip, this stay once a year on our... Um, American Express card if you're interested in that uh, we'll put some details below yep. and um, we hope to see well we will we hope to see you guys next week we hope you all come and join us on whatever adventure we're going to be on Bye. see ya